3,000 people? What's up with Vegas? 3,000 people? Who else had 3,000 people? We, we like the most in the country? Yeah, we had the highest per capita turnout in the country. Did you have the highest turnout in the country? Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but considering the fact that you had 2 million people in the Valley, yeah. That's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you, that's great. Um, and also, I was very inspired by the story of, of your transformation in five years. It's amazing. Um, and you said that you had all these things that happened in your diet, a lot of things at once, and you're not sure what exactly was the cause of all these changes, but you lost all that weight, etc. So I want to start out with that. Um, how many people here are avoiding GMOs? How many people noticed that when they started to avoid GMOs or soon after, their health got better? So I'd like to hear from you um, what the symptoms were that either improved or went away. So anyone? Diabetes. Diabetes. They improved so your blood sugar counts went down? Yes. So basically changed your whole plant story. To what? To a plant story. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> That's totally life-changing. That's fantastic. And I, I've heard that before from audience members. Uh, anyone else have any blood sugar changes with uh, GMOs? Blood sugar? Okay. Another symptom? Yeah. Digestion issues. All right. Now, raise your hand if you have improved digestion issues. Well, keep your hand up. Look around. It's always the largest category. It is completely predictable. It is absolutely rock solid that so many people get better with digestive issues. Crohn's, irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel, acid reflux, different things like that. Any other symptoms? Allergies. I just started to sneeze when you said that. <laughs> what was it? Who were you just projecting that on me? <laughs> How many people notice an improvement in allergies? It's every single talk I've given and asked this question except one. And I was like, dang, there was one that I did that no one had allergies. How about asthma? Similar to allergies. All right. Any other immune system? Autoimmune? Anything like that? Okay. Another, another symptom. Anyone else with blood pressure? We got one, two, 
All right. That's very, I would say it's common enough so that I would expect it, but it's not every single lecture. High cholesterol. High cholesterol. Very interesting. I haven't heard a lot of that. Very interesting. And So, took the pets off of GMOs, if you can't hear, I'm also repeating you with the camera. Took five dogs off of GMOs and? <coughs> skin allergies? Shedding? Itchiness? Anyone else have itchy paws? <laughs> Three to five weeks. Funny. Now, is there any diarrhea also that had reversed? So if you didn't hear, um, skin, itching, paws, um, shedding, all got better with the dogs, three to five weeks. And then when the husband, husbands, <laughs> when, he, when he didn't get the dog, he brought some GMO treats, and then there was diarrhea the next day. Um, so, so first of all, I just went to um, an area where I interviewed a veterinarian, pet vet and like six or seven pet owners. Because she told everyone, get rid of GMOs, and their stories were amazing. And there were two major categories. One was the itching and skin, and the other one was diarrhea. You just heard of both in your story. Very, very common. We're, gonna, we're now focusing also on pet owners, not because we expected it and planned for it, but because pet owners are now coming to us, and so we're gonna be organizing outreach for that. Any other symptoms? My aunt took over the family farm in Iowa, and she eats healthy, she thinks, and stuff, and she's developing allergies, and she's sick a lot all of a sudden, and uh, she just can't figure out. aunt to Iowa and took over the family farm that's growing GMOs? Yeah, I mean, they've been doing that for over 100 years. Well, she's getting sick with allergies at all. Yep. Yeah, I live in Iowa, and um, there's a lot of allergies there, yep. and it could be the GMO pollen, it could be the spray. And uh, I know a doctor in the past who says, many times it's spray time for the field. <laughs> a lot of people come to his office. Just over, it explodes with people during that time. Yep? Depression and an energy level. Depression yeah. and energy, okay, let's start. Depression, anyone, depression or any mood related things change with non GMO? Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I see a number of hands up. Lots of, very, very common. By the way, I'm going to refer to all of these things. We're going to pull this apart and say, how is it that GMOs might have led to depression, to skin problems, to uh, diabetes? And the other one was energy. Right. Now, this is, wait, 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 wait. I'm telling you, I'm going to predict a lot of hands are going to go up. <laughs> how many switched to non GMO and found more energy? <laughs> See? No, just, just, it was like, as much as gastrointestinal. Yeah, no. Totally predictable. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do it because I told you. It was, it's, it's that way every time. There's another one, brain fog. Okay? Brain fog. So, people notice the reduction in the fogginess in their brain. Very common. Kids, higher grade point average, we hear that a lot. Like, like the year before, they wanted to keep the kid back, and the next year, he's like one of the top of his class. Change his diet. Um, anything else? ADD. 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 Absolutely. Um, and there's a lot of kids whose lives are changed, and, and a lot of parents whose lives are changed <laughs> when the kids are gone. Anyone else with ADD uh, symptoms improving with their family? Okay. Yes. I'm concerned with the age of people dying. 